Hey there everybody, I was away for the holidays. I didn't have my equipment there to get her to talk to you, so she has a lot to say, and I plan to ask her about Trent Bolt, her husband's gay lover, which I know has her um, riled up. And let's see what happens. Shannon, are you there? Would you like to talk to us? Shannon, can you say hello to everybody? Just let them know you're there. Just to let everyone know, Echo Vox is the, bo is the box that Shannon likes. I know people just keep saying to me, why don't you Echo Vox, yes. Shannon, I'm sorry if I talk over you at times. It's sometimes it's hard for me to know when it's okay for me to talk. How are things going for you now? Are you, are you feeling any better? Was it hard your first holidays away from your family? Is it okay that I ask a few questions about the head? Okay, the, f the first one is kind of direct. Um, the, a man named Trent Bolt came out and said that he was your husband Chris's gay lover, that they met on a gay website and that they had gay sex together. Is that true? I mean, I don't know if you know it's true, but do you know if it's true? How do you feel about it? I know I'm treading on something that makes you very angry, but Trent has said that he met your children at the mall on at least one occasion. He even said that Chris alluded to the fact that he needed you out of his life, and Trent felt kind of spooky that Chris may have been alluding to the fact that he was going to murder you. What do you think of that? What do you think 
think of Trent coming out now and not during the trial? When I heard about this, my first thought was somehow you, you encouraged him. Could that be true? All the, all the threats you made about making Chris uncomfortable in prison, if the prison inmates know that he's... That, that he did this behind your back when he was married to you with the beautiful children, that it's going to make him very uncomfortable in prison. Was this your design? Is, is there anything you'd like to say additionally on the subject? Can I move on to a new subject? Okay. All right. There is rumor. There is rumor and some of the not as, you know, not as reputable magazines have said that Chris is possibly a serial killer. Is that true? Do you think that's true, or do you have any? Do you have any proof that that's true from the other side? I mean, not not just you and your children, but that he's killed other women and possibly other children. You said he's killed others. Is that true? Or am I wrong? Well, tell me about it. And if you if it's true, could you please tell me who if you know? Is it okay? Is it okay for me to move on to the next question? Okay. There are many, 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 many women who are writing love letters to Chris in jail. What do you think of those women? Do you have any messages for those women? say about you are horrible. 
And they think he's the, like, creme de la creme. Okay, La last time we talked, last time we talked, you were talking about starting some kind of, I don't know, like a support group or a, um, some kind of, I don't know what you called it, but some kind of group to help, to help people deal with their anger on the other side after a traumatic event so that they, you know, um, kind of a ghost blog, vlog, I'm monitoring your progress with your anger so that someday you could help others. How's that going? <laughs> What's the biggest problem you're facing? <laughs> Wow. At that point, she took off and the program crashed.